from crazy Russian vehicles to incomplete inventions that will blow your mind, here are the 10 best abandoned technologies and vehicles. Number 10. Russian Flying Submarine You might think a flying submarine is a completely ridiculous notion. And it is, since everything about an airplane is contradictory to everything about a submarine. How could you possibly plunge an airplane into the water and then have it act like a submarine? It's crazy! And the only people crazy enough to try such a ridiculous idea was the Soviet Union back in World War II. And they came close to building a flying sub. The project was in the hands of Boris Ukashov, who proposed that it was possible to build a craft that was half submarine and half airplane. In 1936, Ushakov pushed forward a draft to the project, and soon after the Scientific Research Committee decided to pursue it. However, the following year, a second committee reviewed the project and abandoned it. Which is a shame, really, since the design was extremely impressive. The flying submarine would have done 100 knots in the air and 3 knots underwater. It would have had its engines sealed behind metal plates while underwater, with six hermetically sealed chambers inside of its hull and its wings. This was actually a meticulously well-designed project. It's a shame it never saw the light of day. Perhaps our aerial landscape would look very different today if it did. Number 9. Tsar Tank Here's another bizarre feat of Russian engineering. This one goes back to World War I. It's a monster tank that never ended up being put into use, known as the Tsar Tank. It was 60 tons of steel, 3 stories high, 18 meters long, and 12 meters wide. The lunatics behind this project actually built one in 1915 inside a village on the outskirts of Moscow. The hull was lined with steel armor. The interior was loaded with impressive 76.2 millimeter cannons for ultimate devastation and there were exactly 15 operators who needed to be present to operate the machine. The only problem was that it wouldn't move. The moment the giant tank was moved off its supporting base, it wouldn't go anywhere. It literally could not move an inch. There had been a massive error in the calculations, and it was too heavy. Its rear roller was stuck in the ground, and it wasn't going anywhere. The vehicle actually got left in the field, because there was nothing that they could do with it. And while they tried to do revisions to build another tank, there was a massive revolution in 1917, and everybody forgot about the Tsar tank. Some greedy folks eventually scrapped it for parts in 1926. Number 8. Thought Camera Imagine a camera that can photograph your thoughts. This is exactly what Nikola Tesla, the famous Serbian inventor, dreamed of inventing back in the 1890s. According to the history, Nikola Tesla was convinced that he could create a camera that would photograph people's thoughts. He thought that because an image is formed in the human mind, it must produce an image on the back of the retina. Tesla figured that by somehow projecting the image from the back of someone's retina onto a screen, he could capture the images they were thinking about. This is total mad scientist nonsense, of course, but it would have been a very cool invention if he'd continued working on it and perhaps some other crazy scientist would have followed in his footsteps and work into the new century. Of course, this is not the only wild invention that Tesla had been wanting to create. He'd also, according to himself, inadvertently began the creation of an earthquake machine, almost tearing apart his building in New York. Tesla had also once had funding from J.P. Morgan to begin designing a global wireless energy service, but the funding fell through, and so did the technology. If Tesla had been funded properly, who knows what our world would look like today? Let us know what you think in the comments below what you think, and be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Number 7. Dugar Radar Station Deep in the forest of Ukraine stands a behemoth of abandoned technology. The Dugar Radar Station began construction in 1972 as a way for Soviet scientists to mitigate long-range missile threats. The massive tower is built of hundreds of giant antennas and turbines, and it stands a whopping 150 meters in height. In fact, this monstrous piece of technology is 700 meters long, looking like a giant wall of metal in the middle of the woods. It had once been a top-secret military base, very close to the location of Chernobyl near Pripyat. Both sites are now abandoned, of course, while the radar is in complete ruins. The whole purpose of the radar station was to detect nuclear attacks, within the first two or three minutes that a ballistic missile was launched. 
However, all it really managed to do was spook the Americans with its signal. People thought the Soviets had built a signal that could control mines or control the weather. In any case, the radar station reportedly cost twice as much as the actual nuclear facility. And according to CNN, the 1986 disaster at Chernobyl was the end of the facility. It was abandoned because of radiation and left to rot, and it never did detect any nuclear weapons. Number six, Panjandrum. This is probably the most ridiculous war invention ever. The idea makes sense, but in reality, it just seems like a total waste of effort. Basically, the Panjandrum was a device designed by the British as an attempt to destroy Hitler's forces on the beaches of France. The Panjandrum was a giant pair of wheels with rockets attached to either side and a drum in the middle. The rockets were supposed to propel the device up the beach into the enemy's defensive wall, where the giant cylinder in the middle of the two wheels would then explode with explosives, therefore blowing a massive hole in the seawall and crippling the enemy. The theory is sound, it is a good idea, but the tests in 1943 and 44 were a complete disaster. The rockets attached to the wheels simply could not accelerate the rather crude device up the beach. Either the rockets would fall off, or they would fail, or they would just push the panjandrum in a direction that it wasn't supposed to go. Great technology, but not very practical. According to Wired, rather than kill any Nazis, the panjandrum once came close to killing a dog instead. Number five, airships. Before airplanes, there were airships. Think about blimps and zeppelins. In case you didn't know, the very first airship, called the Zeppelin LZ-1, took to the skies in 1900, three years before the famous flight of the Wright brothers. And in the early 20th century, airships were considered the future of air travel. They were lighter and much more effective than the original airplanes. And in World War I, they played a key role in military operations and were used for bombings. Airships were supposed to be the future Future. In the 1930s, there were luxury airships taking passengers across the Atlantic Ocean. Back in their day, airships were considered technological marvels. There were even rumors that the spire of the Empire State Building had originally been planned to be converted into a dock for airships. Of course, the popularity of airships came to a grinding halt when the Hindenburg exploded in 1937. With the advancements in airplanes and the deadly explosion on everyone's mind, Funding and the interest in airship technology was abandoned overnight. It's amazing to think what the world might look like now if airship technology had never been abandoned. And one has to wonder if the luxury of traveling on an airship would ever return. Number four, Japanese war balloons. Everyone knows that the best technology is always developed during times of war. However, the most preposterous technology is also designed during times of war. During the Second World War, the Japanese were in a state of dismay over the Americans' superiority in the air, and so the Japanese tried to be innovative. In 1944 and 45, they tried to use unmanned balloons to bomb the Americans. This wasn't the best technology. The balloons were unmanned and equipped with bombs that were to automatically drop over American cities. They were launched from Japan, where they then drifted across the ocean towards North America. This was obviously an utter failure. According to Smithsonian Magazine, of the 9,000 bombs that were launched, only one managed to kill anyone, a woman and six kids in 1945 in Oregon. They were the only U.S. civilians to have died at enemy hands on American soil in the war. Number three, ME-163 Comet Fighter. This little fighter plane from the Second World War was the only rocket-powered interceptor to ever be in operational service. While this little plane had zero outcome on the conclusion of the war for Germany, it was still a significant piece of technology that was subsequently abandoned after it didn't really work out. Basically, the whole idea behind the comet was that it would intercept American fighter planes over Germany thanks to its incredibly fast propulsion system, which worked with two volatile substances mixed together. The thrust gave this tiny plane about 885 kilometers an hour top speed. The first plane began operating in 1944, but the comet was too fast. It was literally too quick for the pilots to operate. They had a very difficult time engaging the bombers. Plus, the rocket engine only burned for about seven minutes, and after seven minutes, the pilot could only glide. Obviously, this wasn't a viable strategy, and so the technology was pretty quickly scrapped. Although, they did build 364 of these tiny little planes before abandoning. Number two, Antarctic Snow Cruiser. The Antarctic Snow Cruiser was an incredible vehicle. 
Scientists and engineers crafted this impressive piece of technology back in 1939 at Chicago's Armour Institute of Technology as a way to navigate the Antarctic. The vehicle measured 16 meters in length and weighed over 37 tons when loaded. It used four huge tires specifically designed to retract so that the vehicle could scoot across the big crevices found in the ice of the Antarctic. The machine only cost roughly $150,000 to make, according to the Atlantic, and it was at the time looking like this could be the best new vehicle for Antarctic expeditions. However, after the Antarctic snow cruiser was delivered to the south of the globe, its design proved to be faulty. It was pretty much useless. The engine was underpowered, the smooth tires didn't work on the snow, and there was basically nothing the crew could do with it. It became converted into a crew quarters where they lived for a short period of time. The real mystery here is that over 75 years later, nobody knows where the Antarctic snow cruiser actually is. Most theories put it somewhere in the Antarctic covered in snow, or at the bottom of the ocean covered in penguins. Number one, Schwer Gustav German Railway Gun. This is probably the coolest piece of technology that never really worked out. Back in World War I, the Germans used a massive cannon fixed to the front of a train to bombard Paris. It was a huge weapon, like really, really huge. And it was so useful in the First World War that Adolf Hitler decided that it could be useful in 1936. The gun would be designed to be 1,350 tons and to fire seven ton shells a full 46 kilometers. That is some serious heft and firepower. However, the railway gun was completed too late and missed its chance to attack France. In 1940, it managed to fire 47 rounds into the city of Sevastopol, but the firing wore out the barrel. A second massive railway gun was built, but never used. By the middle of the 40s, these big guns were totally obsolete, thanks to the efficiency of airplane bombardments. Still, the Schwerer Gustav was the biggest gun ever built. Which of these abandoned technologies would you like to see reinvented? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another amazing video.